to sit, so for high bar, we tend to sit a little bit higher up on the traps. For low bar, we're going right below the traps. You're gonna take your hands and a little bit wider. Elbows back, create a good shelf. From here, feet are gonna be wider than our normal uh, squat stance. Take, uh, now you can go from the side. Um, what we're looking for, as we go into the bottom of the squat, we're gonna drive the hips back. Notice she drops her chest. Okay? So chest is about a 45 degree angle. Right here, at the bottom, you want a nice vertical shin, so we're not pushing the knees forward. Uh, so demo what it would look like if she goes to depth. So if she goes hip crease below the knee, sometimes we tend to push and then we start loading the quads. Um, we don't want to load the quads at all. We want weight to be in the heels. In this back position here, hip, uh, as far as depth, you can stand up. We're right about parallel. Sometimes if you try to break that hip crease, uh, it tends to push the knees forward, like I said. So the goal here is to load posterior chain. Um, when we do regular back squats, we have a little bit more narrow stance, and it's more of a quad dominant. Okay, chest stays tall, quads are loaded, at the bottom, shins are at an angle. So here we're trying to build strength and trying to build the core. So we're going with a low bar this time. Four sets of five. We'll go every two minutes off of a rack. 